Think about it. What do elites want? Power and control. Okay then how do they get that? Weaken the man who is the head of the house. Get everyone hooked on something. Some men on porn, smoking, alcohol, drugs, social media. It's all desensitization. Create society to be slaves to their pleasure chemicals in the brain. Then manipulate them. Masturbating and porn are not healthy. It is all a lie made by the powerful elites who govern this world. They are trying to keep us weak. They try to promote the idea that fapping is totally healthy so that we waste our vital energy and become meek, passive and easy to control. Without that powerful sexual energy, we are drained of the fight inside us. If they do something we don't like, chances are, most people will be demeek and afraid to do anything about it. Why? Because they keep draining out all their energy. Fapping drains energy and confidence, and that's what they want us to do. Your body prioritizes your root chakra which is your genitals. These get the most energy at first. The problem with that is that when you keep wasting this energy on pointless orgasms, the energy is gone. They never get past your root chakra. The reason why you are so tired and all when you keep jerking off is that you never allow the energy to fill your root chakra. Therefore, that energy will not move on to higher chakras. Once you stop wasting your most powerful energy, which is your sexual energy, that energy will fill your root chakra. Once your root chakra has been replenished, the energy will begin to disperse farther away from your genitals and towards your higher chakras. They will be able to reach your lungs, your heart, etc. You will unlock your higher chakras. Through exercise and meditation, you channel this energy throughout your whole body. You will become so much stronger, so much more aware, so much more confident, and so much more enlightened. Once you allow your energy to flow through all of your chakras, the problem with most people is that as soon as they have some sexual energy, they immediately waste it instead of letting it accumulate. Since the body prioritizes the genitals the most, all their energy will be stuck in their genital organs. All their nutrients and energy will go to creating semen and sexual fluids. If you already have sexual fluids, then your body will start giving energy to other parts of your body. Since you won't have to keep spending all your energy on making sexual fluids, the governments know about chakras and energy levels of no fap, and they fear our power. They are afraid of what we are capable of if we reach our full potential. This is why they promote these god-awful lies of masturbation being healthy. Also, the porn industry is worth billions of dollars. They will stop at nothing to get us hooked to porn. Who knows how much they are drawing the strings behind mainstream media and our education. Nowadays, porn is literally everywhere. It's spreading across all internet and social media like the morbid disease it is. This world is slowly becoming a dystopian society. They want you to fap your brains out, to become a living walking zombie that lives his life for the sake of living. They want you to be nothing but a consumer, who consumes everything for the sake of pleasure. That way you will be the most productive to them. Then, I thought about it deeper, and I realized that it gets darker. For those that aren't aware, at around 64 days retaining seed, sperm undergo spermatogenesis. Which means sperm you've cultivated reach full maturity and potency. Which is nature's intention for creating a child. No wonder disease and mental health issues are higher than ever, because most of us are born from a week's cultivation. Because our fathers were most likely subject to perennial ejaculation and doctrination, meaning we developed from infantile seed. What kind of fruit will a tree bear if said fruit is harvested in its infancy? Now, what kind of fruit will become of a seedling who has been allowed the correct conditions, nutrients and time to grow into what it is destined to be? I digress, but you get the sentiment. We were all grown from infantile seedling which means we were not given the optimum start in life. We are weaker and less powerful than we could have been had we have received optimum growing conditions. Imagine how powerful the human race would be if we all grew from spermatogenesis seed. That is a nation of warriors, divine beings who are not so easily manipulated and controlled. Now I understand why we are indoctrinated to perennially spill our seed, to keep us weak. In addition, to ensure that future generations perpetuate the weakness, they don't want an army of fully developed beings in existence. Because spermatogenesis babies are revolution babies. See through the trap. Life to be the best you can be. Focus on making your mind better. Making it pure. Become the smartest, best version of you. See through the lives. Do what you think is meaningful. And you will be fulfilled. Cultivate your seed. Give your child the best start in life as nature intended. And let's change the world together.